Facebook ad strategy that's working right now in 2019. Yeah. So there's a few things that always stay constant, but we know that week in, week out, Facebook decides to change its mind. And sometimes that can leave you up a creek without a paddle, and that's not a good time. So I wanna talk about not only what's working right now, but also then some of the fundamentals that you always need to have in place, because otherwise you literally can get stuck in hamstrung and you're not gonna have a good time. So to start off with what's working right now, obviously Facebook's big shift in 2019 is that they're treating, and if you've seen anything from their F8 developer conference, is that they wanna treat your newsfeed as it's a digital town square. So what that means is that the town square, if you imagine that you're going through a town square, think of that as the newsfeed and how you're producing your ads and how you're producing your content. Because if you put something out, if you're just the guy who's yelling, going up to people, grabbing at them, trying to pull them into a store, you're probably gonna get arrested, right? Mirror that across to Facebook, you're probably gonna get chucked in, in, in Facebook jail. You might get an ad account shut down or whatever it might happen, right? So you really wanna make sure that you have a huge focus on the user experience, right? The user experience, the conversations that uh, people are having inside of Facebook is what Facebook care about because they already have black marks against them from privacy, right? GDPR, all this other sort of stuff. Like they have a huge, huge, huge responsibility and they don't want us advertisers going in there and messing things up. So what's working right now um, that we found across the board is a lot more, I would say like consultative or storytelling advertising, which is where you're not really going, hey, buy this, grab this, do this. Like you're, you're a lot more storytelling, you're a lot more like having a conversation with people around things. And that's why a lot of people are advocating going heavy on content, going heavy on video production and things like that at the moment, because purely because Facebook is favoring that sort of advertisement right? The old just like, hey, click and buy this can work, but most of the time at the moment, it's not. So there's a heavy push towards treating people like it is that digital town square where you're going through and you've got people yelling for, yelling at you, baked goods, there's smells, there's sounds, there's sights, that's all exciting for the senses. That is what you really need to focus on is going, cool, how can I treat my advertisement in the right way, the most effective way for that period? That's number one, right, of the things that's working right now. Number two is using CBO, right? Convert, uh, sorry, uh, campaign bid optimization. I always say conversion bid optimization because that's why I bid for anyway, but uh, campaign bid optimization. And what that means is that normally, like if you imagine you've got a couple of little babushka dolls, right? The ones where it's like the big doll, the small doll, and they all go inside of each other. You've got your campaign, you've got your ad set, and then your ad, each little babushka doll. And as you take them through that process, right, from your campaign to your ad set to your ad, and use my little friend Muhammad Ali here, right, from here to here to here, right, at the campaign level, right, that is normally where you just go, cool, this is what I wanna do. Then here, this is who I wanna target and this is how much I wanna spend. Here, this is what it looks like, right? That's the three little levels that you wanna be thinking of inside of your ads. Now, normally at that ad set level, at that ad set level, that is where you would set your budgets. Normally, up until, like, and it's still running now, and they're just rolling out these changes really from September up until February. Some people said it's fully pushed till February. But what they're making a heavy, heavy, heavy push for is they're making sure that you look at your bids at the campaign level, right? So what that means is, let's say that you have a campaign. You have three audiences you wanna target and three ads. Facebook wanna take that control. They wanna be like, we are the bosses now. Look at me, I am the captain now, right? That's what they wanna have happen. They want to be the captain of where your ad spend is going. Whereas before, we were much more in control at the ad set level going, cool, I wanna spend 10 bucks here, five bucks here, five bucks there, three bucks there, one buck there. We can do all that delegation of funds ourselves. Now Facebook's going, cool, tell us how much you wanna spend in total today, 100 bucks. We're gonna divvy it up where we see fit. Now, is that the right way to do things? Normally, no. Normally, if Facebook recommends something, I don't recommend doing it, purely because they don't have the most effective way in doing it. They don't fully understand how to do it, right? They want to, they have the algorithms, right? They have all the learning. However, I still think that unless your budget is over probably thirty to $50,000 a month, a lot of the machine learning doesn't take effect. So if your budget is under $50,000 per month, you really wanna control it as best you can. But using campaign 
budget optimization, we found it really, really effective because generally speaking, when Facebook roll out anything new, they favor it, right? They give that a favor, they give that a push because they want to get the data. Because if they roll out, they roll that out and everyone st stays using ad set um, optimization, it's like, well, how are they going to know if it works? So the more that you use it, the more that they're going to emphasize and go, yeah, cool, go. We're going to give you all of the uh, all of the reach, all of the engagement, so they can test and see if that feature works. Is that official from Facebook? Nah. But I've been on the platform long enough to know when something new happens, when you use it, you get extra reach. It's brownie points, right? It's guns to work. So short answer like test it out use it right there and that's the two big things that are working right now that are most effective on facebook platform right but i want to talk also about instagram because instagram is also part of the ads platform on facebook right um and they they are rolling out a few little sneaky things which are working right now one of them is explore feed placements right which means placing your images and videos and ads from instagram on the explore feed which a lot of people use to explore, obviously, right? So that is really cool. That's something that's working right now, as well as story ads. Using Facebook stories, I find hugely beneficial, hugely powerful, and placing the right ads in there just works phenomenally well. So how long will that last? I couldn't tell you, but in 2019, it is something that's definitely working on a Facebook ads platform, and I would highly recommend that you leverage it. Now, if we're gonna, let's drill down, right? Let's take it from up here down to here as to what are some of the old fundamentals you always got to have that are always going to work. Big one is always our NOC method, right? Your niche, your offer, your copy. The old N, the O, and the C. If you do that, right, if you do that properly, if you choose the right niche, you craft an offer and you can articulate it in copy, which is salesmanship in print, right? Just the ability to write about what you have in a way that encourages people to take action, you're always going to win. Now they have the three core fundamentals that I recommend everyone masters, whether it's across your ads, whether it's across using them on any platform, whatever it is for you. If you can ensure that you do that, those three things, your niche, your offer, your copy, you are going to have a good time. You're going to get good results. Um, and regardless of how things change, because they are always changing, right? Things are changing every single day, every single week, every single month and year inside of Facebook. So you may as well leverage it in the best way possible, right? You may as well take advantage of it if you can, because there's no point in sitting around and crossing your fingers and hoping that something you try is going to work build your fundamentals, build your foundations, and then stack on top of there when new things come. If you know how to use your niche, your offer, and your copy effectively, then when CBO, right, campaign bid optimization comes out, you can take advantage of it. If you don't though, you're gonna be steps behind. So that's why I would highly recommend understanding your niche, who are you targeting, and really dial that in. You know, like one gender, a certain age bracket, knowing their psychographics and their demographics, and then being able to write and articulate that as best possible that is going to give you ultimate success when it comes to your Facebook ads in 2019 and beyond. So I would highly please implore you, learn about, right? Let's like if we go in reverse order here, learn your niche, your offer and your copy. Really dial those in. Make sure that you understand it, right? Step one. Step two, investigate the Instagram ads platform uh, through Facebook, utilizing story ads and the uh, explore feed, right? Secondary, looking at convert, uh, sorry, conversion bid, campaign bid optimization. I always like conversions, that's what I want, right? Like focusing on that as much as possible, right? So that's number two. Number three is thinking about everything in your head as the digital town square. Digital town square. If you can use that analogy, use it, think about it, you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna be on to a winner, winner chicken dinner. So I highly implore you to do that. Now guys, if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, let us know, and drop a comment in the comments below if you like this video, if there's anything else you want us to cover. And you know, please make sure that you subscribe. Turn on subscribe, turn on the little bell, little notification tab also, so that you get to see these videos first before anyone else. We really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You have all been awesome. Adios.